Hi there, I'm Sophie Karen Nicholas from the University of Adelaide and I teach human biology to first year students in the Bachelor of Oral Health. I'm also the first year coordinator and also teach these students um, in the area of clinical practice. Last week my colleague Rachel took you through a learning journey where you looked at epithelial tissue, which is the important tissue that lines both the inside and the outside of our body. This week, I have the pleasure of taking you through a guided tour of the connective tissue of our body. This tissue is actually the most abundant tissue in our body and you will find out why it is so. You may be wondering what a bridge has to do with anatomy. Well, this bridge in particular is the bridge that connects our students who either ride their bikes or walk along the river to the main campus. And connective tissue does just that. It connects one part of our body to the other part of our body. So just like bridges and scaffolds vary in size, shape and form, so does connective tissue. So this week we are going to help you work out what these common characteristics actually are by exploring these features and the functional properties of connective tissue. We're going to look at the types of cells and the fibres that make up connective tissue. And then finally, we are going to help you work out the main tissue types, where they are located and what they actually do.